There ain't no party like a Donner party, because at a Donner party, you eat all of your friends. A lot of you have probably already heard how the story of the Donner Party goes. A group of American pioneers are heading out west. They get unlucky and end up trapped in the mountains during the winter time. Things get bad and they decide the best course of action is eating each other to survive. I'll be honest, when I did my research for this, I was fully expecting the Donner Party to be another case of an old story that was blown even more out of proportion as time marched on. A tall tale that was mistaken for actual history. Man, was I absolutely surprised to find that the real story was worse. Oh my god, it was so much worse. I do hope you're eating something while you watch this. I'm Vibby, and on this episode of A Space Alien Explains, The Donner Party. So in the 1840s, Americans had this idea that the stretch of land between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans was destined to be theirs and they needed to claim it. The philosophy was called Manifest Destiny, and it inspired American pioneers to start moving west, where they could start new lives for themselves in a land that was, to them, a blank slate. Now, the pioneers did set up and travel along different trails and routes to get to their destinations on the west coast, but even with predetermined paths, it was still super dangerous to go. You have died of dysentery and all? There's two things that went extremely wrong with the Donner Party. In this case, two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs and you're gonna have to eat your companions. Wonder why Oregon Trail didn't include that as a possibility. The first thing that set the Donner Party on the path of a real-life horror movie... They were late to get moving. Like many pioneers, the Donner Party started their journey in Independence, Missouri, with the final destination in mind being California. The ideal time to start heading west is in April. It takes about four to six months to complete the journey, so leaving in April ensured you'd make it through the mountains before winter came. The Donner Party didn't leave until the middle of May. The second thing that went wrong? They took a shortcut. Or at least it was promoted to be a shortcut, but that was a f***ing lie. The party decided to follow the advice of a guidebook written by Lansford Hastings, who claimed there was a shortcut that could get travelers to California in quicker time. This shortcut was known as the Hastings Cutoff. The thing is, no one traveled the Hastings Cutoff before. Not even Hastings himself. The result? The pioneer group ended up having to cut down trees in order to pass through, and then, after all that a butt f***ing desert. They ended up adding an extra month to their journey. A bunch of the livestock died, they burned through their supplies, and they nearly died of thirst. Despite it all, they had made it to the Sierra Nevada by November and had begun making their way through the treacherous mountains. They had approximately 100 miles left in their trip when a blizzard hit the area. If you live around the Sierra Nevada, you're probably fully aware why that's a problem. The snow had made it virtually impossible to keep going, and they had no other choice but to hunker down, set up cabins and tents, and wait out the winter. On December 16th, 1846, about a month after the Donners had been trapped, a group of 17 men, women, and children decided to leave the camp in search of help. The group soon became lost and confused. After days of wandering without food, one of the members, Patrick Dolan proposed someone be sacrificed in order to feed the others. Sometime afterward, Patrick Dolan completely lost his shit, got naked, and ran into the forest. No, no, I have absolutely no idea what happened there. Patrick Dolan eventually returned to the group and died shortly after. And the horror story begins right about... Now, members of the party cut meat from Dolan's body, roasted it, and ate it. Yes, the guy who suggested they eat someone is now the dude who's being eaten. Way to solve your own problems. As more people died, more bodies were butchered and eaten. They even kept track of which meat came from who to make sure no one would be eating their own friends or family. 
Hey, could you hand me a piece of John there? And they didn't eat entire bodies at once. A lot of the meat was dried out, so it would be easy to store and carry as a snack for later. Kind of like beef jerky. Seasoned with your nightmares. But when that started running out, they had to look at other options. The group had discussed killing Luis and Salvador, a pair of Native Americans who were helping the group find their way through the mountains. Luis and Salvador had refused to eat any of the human meat, and decided to get the f out of Dodge when they realized they might be on the chopping block. The group came across Luis and Salvador again a few days later. The reunion was a joyous event, with a lot of singing, dancing, and alcohol. I lied. They murdered Louise and Salvador. And ate them. Eventually, what was left of the group managed to clear the Sierras and find help at a small farming community in the Sacramento Valley. From there, rescue parties were formed to retrieve the survivors of the Donner Party who were left at the camp in the mountains. And how were things going with them? It was great, actually. There was a lot of deer and bear meat, and they just got f***ing lucky. It was just the hiking group that had a bad time. Light again, wasn't much better. They were eating each other at the camps, too. It took over two months to rescue the remainder of the Donner Party. And for the relief teams, got absolutely f***ing wild for them too. Every time they sent another party to retrieve survivors, they just kept finding half-eaten bodies. Louis Kesseberg was one of the last people rescued. When the relief party found him, he was half-mad, surrounded by mutilated corpses, and had a pot full of human flesh. In the end, roughly half of the Donner Party had resorted to cannibalism out of desperation. We can assume the other half where the people cannibalize it, I guess. If you go to Wikipedia and check out the page Donner Party Timeline, there's a list of the casualties and what happened to the bodies. There's a horrifying amount of people listed as cannibalized, and there's two listed as probably cannibalized. Whatever the hell that implies. So, that's it on the Donner Party. We're not afraid of touching darker topics on this channel, as you've probably already seen, but I really hope the next video's a lot lighter. Pask, can you remind us what we got coming up? Necrophilia and severe desecration of the corpse. Oh god damn it. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. This week's featured fan art is by PoppyPops11 on Twitter. Link to the artist's page is in the description. And here's some comments from the last video. If you found this episode interesting, please be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I have art commissions and a Ko-Fi page available. Buy me a coffee through there and I'll make you a little sketch as a way of saying thanks. Links to all that, as well as links to my social media, are in the description. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you real soon.